Hello and welcome to UX Boost Pills. If you watched our video on skills every UX designer needs, we touched upon the importance of usability testing. In this video, I will guide you through how to write a usability testing report. First, why is a usability testing report necessary? Well, it is a synthesis of your analysis and test data. The next step after collecting all the data, it allows you to group notable findings and prioritize issues, and it keeps your team informed and focused on the goal. So now let me go through the structure of the report with you. I'm going to pull up each page on screen and go through them one by one. Don't miss me. And I'll link to the template I'll be using throughout this video in the comment section below for free download. And oh, we recommend creating a presentation in Google Drives for your report. You'll want the first page to be a title page. This is pretty self-explanatory. On it, you want to include your company logo if applicable, the name of the organization or product you're performing the usability test for, the names of the researchers involved in conducting the report, and the date the report was created. You can include an image of the product you are testing or an on-brand graphic to make for a more eye-catching title page, like we've done here. Page 2 is a table of contents. Now this is also pretty self-explanatory. On it, you want to list out each of the sections covered in your report, and if you wish, for added navigability, you can add page numbers after each section. Page 3 is an executive summary. It's where you'll put the most important findings from the tests you've run. So even if your stakeholders read nothing else, they'll learn this. It should include your key findings, the purpose of the study, and how and where it took place. Start by mentioning how and why you tested the product. For this example, I am trying to improve the product selection process of an online shop. Then give details about your testing group. Don't worry if you don't include everything, as you can elaborate in the section on participant profiles. Finally, use statistics to highlight the main factors of the study. For example, how many participants completed the task successfully, and how many of them were unable to do so. When presented in this way, with percentages, stakeholders will retain more of the information you ultimately want them to factor when making decisions. This may be a couple of pages long. Page 4 is where you'll outline your goals. Your goals should be clear and concise so your team can refer back to them after testing to understand what aspects of the product work and what needs improvement. Elaborate on each goal in one to two sentences. State what the main objectives are. Page 5, Methodology, is where you'll lay out the how of your research in plain language. Say how you screen them, the channels you use to reach them, and if you conducted the test online or in person. Next up, participant profiles. In this slide, add a summary including age range and other details about your testing group, and as mentioned, elaborate on key details including professional background, age, and income and gender when applicable. Include a page on tasks tested. Here, list all the steps you ask users to complete. You can also include a section on post-test questions. If you wanted to gain a deeper understanding of how users feel about the product, you can ask them some questions after the test has ended. Here are some examples of post-test questions. One of the more important slides in the report is the results section. Here you'll show stakeholders how you organized, analyzed, and synthesized all of the data collected during your usability testing research. Create different categories to group your findings in. This will make it easier to understand how you came up with certain numbers and conclusions. Give a general overview of the results. Add positive and negative at the bottom of each category and analyze the positive and negative observations and data in a paragraph or two. You can include relevant quotes from a participant or important statistics that reinforces the findings in this section. Use charts supporting images, video, tables, or text to highlight distinctions among result categories. On the next page, you'll discuss bugs and issues. Give an overview of the bugs or issues and divide them into categories for deeper understanding. Describe errors, issues with display, and functionality. You can also include images or videos of the issues to give your development team more reference. Another key section in your report is key findings and recommendations. After analyzing your usability testing research, create a list of recommendations and action items based on findings. 
Use action words like make, have, and do for actionability. These items should be consistent with the feedback you've gathered from users during testing. Separate into categories, for example, major, moderate, and minor, to help prioritize. You always want to account for bias. I can't overstate this enough when it comes to UX research. A disclaimer is how you can do so in a report. There might be various factors that influence the results of the usability testing. It's important to identify and list them in your report. Some examples of questions include, did all participants follow the set agenda? Were there any human errors that affected the results? Etc. The appendix. Here, you can include related links to notes, documents, data, media, resources, or notable quotes. Besides keeping consistent with professional standards, an appendix will make it easier for your team to access the resources they want to dig deeper into after reading your report. And finally, conclude your usability testing report with a thank you, your logo, and links to your website and contact information if you wish. After creating your report, the next step is to set up a meeting with everyone to share findings, to prioritize issues, and ultimately work towards the goal of improving your product. If you like this video and want to learn more about UX, please subscribe to our channel. And if you had any comments or questions about this video or any suggestions for upcoming topics, please leave that in the comment section below. Thanks. Bye.